What is going on, Fight Fan? So today we're going to uh, review the best mobile boxing game on the market. I, I pride myself in trying to ensure that you guys get the best boxing experience no matter what platform you are on. And one that I have yet to really fully touch on uh, for you guys is the mobile uh, boxing experience. Now, there's so many games out there for mobile boxing, but mm, they're pretty much some cookie cutter kind of 3D thing where you're swiping and you're throwing hooks and stuff. Uh, they're okay, right? Um, like real boxing, for example, it's okay, uh, but they tend to be a little bit sluggish and they lack in the simulation aspect of boxing in terms of your career mode and, and things of that nature. It's, it tends to be more of a fighting game feel where you're just going through uh, opponent after opponent, but there isn't really a super uh, big structure there uh, for for your uh, building your character through a career mode that's supposed to be somewhat simulating um, the sport. But this game, this game does indeed do that. And in my opinion, and I've looked at a lot of different mobile boxing games over the years, Prize Fighter 2 is the best boxing game that we currently have on mobile. Prize Fighters 2 is a game that gives you the utmost freedom. One thing that is very rare in these boxing games that we see on mobile, you can do quick fight and select from a plethora of different divisions. Obviously, they're playing on the fact that this is pixelated. So you've got the Giga divisions and the bite weight divisions. So there's so many different uh, people that you can choose from if you don't care to uh, to play the career mode itself. You can even change the rules. You can make it one minute, two minutes, three minutes, three rounds, 12 rounds. It's all up to you. Uh, it's fully under your control. You can switch to be player versus CPU or CPU versus player or spectate. So there's a lot of customization in just the quick fight if you don't care about the career mode. However, the career mode is where the bread and butter is for this game because once you enter the career mode you you can see that there are a lot of options here to help you go through a boxing simulation or a career mode simulation you'll have the weeks set up for you here the days uh you can set what year you started i started it at 1987 uh so i'm fighting back during the the times where uh you know we, we had the, the the heavy hitters but it tells you the latest news you can select your next opponent through this feature and you actually could decide who you're going to fight do you fight somebody who's weaker uh do you try to go up the ranks much faster it's all up to you and you even get to create your own character you get to change the hairstyles change the uh the the trunks color you get to change add beer mustache change the colors of your glove you, obviously you could put the name of your fighter so it's all in your hands in terms of customization this game prides itself on the customization aspect and even though it's a 2d pixelated game it's very robust in the area of customization allowing you to kind of create a 2d pixel version of yourself it also has tendency sliders because you can actually decide to just coach your fighter as opposed to actually fighting with your fighter yourself, which that gives you the freedom of just being the coach as opposed to being the fighter. But the tendencies allow you to at least have your fighter CPU fight in the way that you would be fighting if you were fighting as your uh, as that player or fight in a way that you just want your, that player to fight in. In selecting an opponent, you can select within a range. So you can cherry pick and put and fight people that are below you in the rankings, or you could decide to take some risks and fight people that are above you in the rankings. 
you can set a date any date that you want and you'll see the total prize pool there the split earnings 50 50 and it'll let you know if it's a championship bout or not here continues the realism of the game as there's no additional money that would be won if you were to win the fight at the end of the fight it will split the 200 dollars prize pool to 50 50 you'll get 100 and your opponent will get 100 so you want to make sure you get more uh kind of credibility or there if you have more leverage over your opponent you could get a better split then the training is obviously simulated and you can choose to do row work and different things like that um bench pressing speed back etc but you could also do live training and the live training allows you to actually spar and you could choose to do light sparring regular sparring hard sparring but if you choose light sparring it comes with its pros and cons obviously you won't be as hurts it won't uh, damage you so much but you only get a smaller percentage uh, XP gain um, if you win and obviously an even less percentage if you lose but you go in there you get the headgear and everything and you actually get to sparring now it has a prize fighter kind of style but it's much much more evolved for example you could actually walk forward and backwards here you're not stuck in one location so you could push your fighter back back towards the ropes if you are pretty aggressive with your attack uh, you have to manage your stamina you do get these uh kind of power boosts where they they allow you to uh throw hooks if you hold the button towards the body or throw hooks towards the head and if you duck and hold it you'll throw uppercuts to the body or uppercuts to the head so all of the punch uh selections are here you have the straights the jabs the uppercuts and the hooks all here uh at your disposal but you have to ensure that you have some good timing uh, so that you can land those heavier shots. You also have XP gain that give you certain things like agility and other unlockable kind of traits for your fighter so that your fighter can have some additional attributes when he's fighting his opponents. So the game is fun. It's challenging. It's rewarding. Uh, it's very easy to understand. You could even play the game the way I play the game, which is I connect my PS5 controller via Bluetooth to the game itself, and I play the game that way. But if you decide to do touchscreen, it is very intuitive where you just tap on the top left for jabs, tap on the top right for straights, bottom left, bottom right is body attacks, and holding the left is a hook, holding the right is a hook, and if you duck and then hold either left top bottom or right top bottom, it will initiate an uppercut. Not pressing anything at all will block the body, and pressing both left and right on the screen will block upstairs if you're using a controller all you have to do is hit any of the bumper buttons r1 r2 l1 l2 and it will block upstairs and of course pressing nothing will block downstairs you could also sway left and right by swiping left and right on a controller is just pressing left and right so it's very very intuitive super fun gameplay it's pretty much punch out but fully evolved to give you so much more freedom if you're looking for a game on mobile look no further as prize fighter 2 is literally the king of mobile boxing games right now I hope you guys enjoyed that review and impression of Prize Fighters 2. In my opinion, I've tried so many different mobile boxing games over the years. Most of them tend to lean in towards that real boxing style where the camera is kind of at an angle. It's 3D and you're swiping. But usually a lot of those kind of gameplays are a little bit over exaggerated. There's some sluggishness uh, with the gameplay itself. Although this is obviously pixel art 
and it's a kind of punch out style it evolves the genre in the fact that you can move forward you can walk backwards you can push your opponent towards the ropes you can do a lot of uh different things that you wouldn't be able to do in those kind of punch out uh copycats if you will or punch out style boxing games but it also comes with its deep deep customization deep career mode it's just fun overall you really feel like you're simulating kind of a career uh of a fighter so until the next one guys let me know what you think if you've played prize fighters let me know how you experience the game down in the comment section below if you want to play a fighting game though and you want to find the best boxer overall in a fighting game period that allows you to do all of the different head movements and and all these different types of kind of jabs and straights the way they're supposed to be done you can go ahead and click this video right here as this would take you to the best boxing in a fighting game period